Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for General Hospital suggest that Rick Lansing traveled to Port Charles in order to support his daughter Molly Lansing Davis. He undoubtedly supported Molly during the funeral of Irene Ashford, the unborn child that Molly's surrogate, Christina Davis Corinthos, carried. Now that Molly knew Christina was going to keep the baby for herself, Rick gave her the much-needed support she needed. However, Rick's reasons for visiting Port Charles appeared to be a little more hazy. Scott Baldwin, with whom he had already communicated, requested that he take up Heather Weber's case. Furthermore, Rick had been called by Nina Reeves to represent Ava Jerome in her custody and criminal matters. Although Rick is infatuated with Molly, there are other reasons that drew him back to the city. Main medical facility spoilers. Lucky and Liz face difficulties due to Rick's jealousy. At this point, Rick has been in love with Elizabeth Weber for a very long time. For a while, they were even wed, but Rick's infatuation with his brother Sonny Corinthos caused them to split up. Rick is still after Elizabeth, as seen by his most recent return. He hasn't given up. Rick made the initial move to ask Elizabeth out. Elizabeth stated that she was willing to get back in touch with Rick, but that they had no possibility of becoming a couple and that her only goal in a relationship with him was friendship. Not just Rick, a former resident of Port Charles, has returned. Elizabeth's rumored love, Lucky Spencer, is also returning. Given that Elizabeth and Lucky have a son in common, there's a strong likelihood that their romance will continue. Look for Rick to make Lucky's life tough in the hopes that Lucky would return to Africa since he won't give up easily. With Lucky back in Elizabeth's life, Rick is aware that he has no hope of winning her over. Rick won't give up even if Elizabeth has made it apparent that romance is not in their future. With whom does Elizabeth fit in? Was Rick truly in the city to see Molly? Or did he have other plans? Keep an eye on General Hospital, which airs on ABC during the week. You never know what will happen in Port Charles. Spoilers for General Hospital surface, when Michael Corinthos saw FBI agent John Jagger Cates bleeding out on the deck in the pouring rain at the Quartermain boathouse, he didn't hesitate to intervene on his elder's behalf. Michael picked up the gunshot casings and immediately started acting like he had done this a hundred times before, telling Sonny Corinthos to go inside and get Carly Spencer so he could have an alibi for his whereabouts. This apple doesn't seem to have fallen as far from the tree as he had assumed. Will Sonny implicate Michael in the process when he confesses to this crime in order to protect Alexis Davis from bearing the consequences for him? Sonny needs to understand how his revelation will completely append not only his own life but also the lives of everyone he loves. Even though he has admitted to it, this man still appears to believe that Diane Miller can pull off miracles and clear him of all charges most of the time. Is that too much to ask? There's little chance that he will notify Diane in advance of his plans because she is unlikely to support him in any way. Naturally, he will then anticipate that she will save him from it. However, how? Gia H. Report and spoilers, this might mark Sonny Corinthos's final days. Diane appeared to be playing the insanity card, suggesting that Sonny had lately lost his mind due to medication tampering and substitution with placebos. After all, Cates was the one who gave the Gia a pharmacist the order for that endeavor. It might take off, but even before the night he plugged Cates in the chest, Sonny too realized something was wrong and began to get help. At this point in the game, it's more likely that we'll witness the fall of Sonny's empire. That makes sense, considering the reports that Bennard is eager to retire shortly. There is only one remaining query. Who is heading in if Sonny is heading out? Without a doubt, criminality is necessary in Port Charles, the harbor, the killings, the federal representatives, the PCPD. If they weren't constantly pursuing the villain, none of it would matter nearly as much. Therefore, even though it might seem like they're chopping off Sonny's head, we contend that someone else will most likely pick up the slack and take over. 
If it's not Jason Morgan, would it be Michael, who has shown over the past few years to be every bit as dishonest and self-serving as his parents? Report on spoilers for General Hospital, when Lucky Spencer informed Laura Collins that he would not be able to donate his liver to Lulu yeah, Falconeri, that he would be her daughter's back. savior for almost a month, but now she feels defeated and almost hopeless. However, there are two ways that Lulu might succeed in this with Lucky's assistance, albeit completely in violation of Gear 8 rules. Due to a parasite that they discovered had damaged Lucky's liver, the hospital isn't even willing to consider him as a donor. Lucky is not at serious risk for health, but Elizabeth Baldwin told him straight out that it could kill his sister. Will Laura insist on Lucky's liver donation even though it might kill her young daughter when she takes in this information and recognizes that there might be individuals in her corner who are willing to take some chances because Lulu has no other choice? When Elizabeth conveyed the awful news to Lucky, she did so in a kind and sympathetic manner. It was scarcely what she desired to divulge to him. She is also affected by this terrible news, but she is only carrying out her duties and abiding by the regulations. Elizabeth has, however, a history of disobeying those regulations. Will Lucky and Laura be pleading with the head nurse to help them do a transplant procedure covertly on this occasion? Whom can she rely on to include her in this process? Terry Randolph, the co-chief of staff, might approve it just to be nice to the family. With Lucky, Isaiah Gannon made clear from the beginning that he was done practicing transplant surgery. It appears that he may have some unpleasant recollections or traumas from his past that he is not yet ready to discuss. Either way, he will never want to undertake a surgical procedure like this one, especially one that carries such high risks. Yet the hospital most likely cannot take a chance on any of its employees' legal responsibility if they conduct this transplant. This implies that Lucky needs an accomplished transplant surgeon to work undercover, even if it means killing Lulu, the recipient. Penny and Laura persuade Isaiah to take the job. Has Tanisha Harper's character Jordan Ashford any influence over him? However, there is another choice. Late in June, Hamilton Finn went to treatment, and he hasn't been seen since. Yes, he has more than 90 days remaining to sober up and get his act together, but he still hasn't been in touch with any of his loved ones, not even Violet Finn, his daughter. But given that Finn's name has been popping up more and more lately, we have to wonder whether he's making a comeback to the screen, if only as a recast. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.